Trading Spaces was one of my favorite shows and one of the first DIY home makeover shows on TV. And after being off the air for 10 years, it's back with the show's unforgettable host, Paige Davis. I caught up with Paige about what it's like to pair up neighbors with a designer to make over a room in each other's homes. And she shared with me that some of the reveals, they don't always have a happy ending. In today's Chatting with the Stars. <laughs> Welcome to Daily Blast Live. Paige, thank you so much for being here. Now, would you trust any of your neighbors, Paige, to personally make over a room in your house? And my favorite question is, what designer would you want to pair them with? You do have to trust your neighbors to do a good job, like to execute it. But it's really the designer that comes up with the concept. And so it really is, you know, would you trust any Trading Spaces designer mm -hmm. in your home? And as far as that goes, I would trust them all. I would even trust Hildy. Whoa. I would actually love Hildy to, to design a room in, in my house. Open your eyes and see your new living room. The reveals have not always had a happy ending. What reaction do you remember most? And there's been a few. Oh, well, I mean, there's the most infamous. You guys are going to be fixing that in a little bit. The fireplace. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, you know, she was very upset that we had covered her fireplace. And then uh, the episode where the uh, Jesse hated Brown and she started choking her neighbor. Uh, that is the only episode in Trading Spaces history where the neighbors were no longer friends. I was gonna ask after that. you know having a negative reveal and I'm always worried it's not going to be finished on time like none of that is acting on my part like that's real I never think they're going to finish the rooms always are in a shambles like 30 minutes leading up to time's up and I'm always astounded that the the designer and the team pulls it together. Now this is a question for you. It's a really simple show and it was off the air for a decade, but it's so relevant and people just love it. It gives me such a sense of comfort. It's like mac and cheese in a TV show. Why do you think that is? It really is. Isn't it? I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that it was the first. Yeah. So yeah. there was this sort of attachment to the fandom. We have very, very, very loyal fans. So, so loyal. And I think that, um, our camaraderie as a cast yeah. kind of pops off the screen. Yep. And I often liken it to people watching Friends, the television show Friends. Right, right. Like when you're watching that show, you want to hang out with those six friends totally. at Central Perk. And I think that people felt that way about the cast of Trading Spaces. Like, I want to hang out with them. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. We'll be sure to tune in for season 10. Thank you, Tori. <laughs>